So here we are map number two and I've got to pause the introduction because crazy crazy stuff is occurring right now. Froz, this is Froz, is spawning in the top left gold base as the yellow Terran player and his opponent Stardust in the top right is playing for my insanity and he's just chilling there. He's 1-0 up at the moment. And well, this is this is pretty fun. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, so let's talk about this logically for a moment, right? This exact same build was done by a Terran player, Crass, up against Bling and WCS last week. And what happened there was it's great. You get like huge amounts of income. Um, you've got a bit of a Sim City problem because there isn't much space to actually build stuff here. But other than that, it's good. Short term, long term, it's it's bad. Mainly because you've got so... You get more minerals per, obviously, trip. But that means you mine out a lot faster. And therefore, you've got pressure to take additional bases later. Stardust opening pretty normal. And it's really when Stardust identifies this. And if you scout a late or doesn't scout at all. Which, unfortunately, is something that Stardust does occasionally do. Um, he could run into some problems. But for the moment, just taking that one gas, we're looking good at the moment. We do have the barracks getting created. Can get a wall off here. I believe uh, with two barracks and two supply depot, you'll wall that off. Uh, you definitely will with two barracks and two supply depot. But the second barracks now coming down. Uh, three racks, I believe, can be supported off of this nice and early on. Um, I think you can just pretty much whack those out and get a big marine shove coming. But potentially, this is the sort of crazy thing that uh, Stardust may not be able to anticipate or may not scout. He may just assume that it's not going to be coming. Alternatively, he could think I'm 1-0 up. My opponent is going to do something really risky to try and get that lead and take me down. SCV coming across now. For the moment, Stardust not taking too many risks. Getting down a Zealot. That's ready to cross the map. It's probably not going to get cancelled now. Um, so, yep, yeah, it's going to be allowed to finish. Making its way across. Going to get a little bit of scouting information. Probably not going to achieve too much of a scout though. Sees that SCV, but it's going to be a long time until Stardust works out that this is coming, unless on the off chance he comes and checks this third first. But three barracks worth of production, only the minerals for the moment, no kind of tech. Mothership is starting to work away at this. Things would be really bad for Stardust to do right now, or well, not really bad, but would be putting him in a big disadvantage would be go for a Stargate. A Stargate would be pretty terrible here because obviously there's so many Marines, but Stardust does check that goal base first. Okay, so Stardust completely aware of what is occurring now and can therefore start appropriately defending against it. So he starts off getting down that second assimilator because he knows that his opponent has taken a big risk. He's going to have leveled out and be probably pulling ahead in terms of supply shortly. But his tech not really existent for the moment. So, a bit of an interesting situation. Stardust is going to try and get a bit of damage done using the Mothership Core for high ground vision. A couple of Marines making their way down. Of course, the Supply Depot is going to take more and more of a beating. We'll need to get repaired if any SCVs come over to repair. Then, obviously, the Stalker can start working away. Those Marines coming a bit more further forward. They've got to be so careful, though. Stardust just trading ever so cautiously with these Marines. And as long as he only loses shields, that's absolutely fine for him. Mother's Report even getting in on this. Marine goes down. They start trading very, very nicely. Back at home, Stardust for the moment isn't really doing much else. He hasn't added anything on yet, just banking up more and more gas. These two Stalkers. Getting a decent chunk of work done, actually. Really looking quite solid for the moment. Many more SCVs pulled to repair that up. Quite a few of them incredibly low on HP, but with so many Marines, Stardust has no choice but to back away. It adds on to additional gateways. And this really is the best response in case there was some pressure coming. He needs that additional production of more units. So he's just playing it safe for the moment. Getting more stuff out, trying to whittle down this army as quickly as he can. Gotta be careful, one of these stalkers gets taken down to half health. Not really what he wants, he keeps backing away. Gotta play it very carefully. You cannot afford to lose anything. Mothership Core going up to the high ground so he can escape up that cliff. The Stalker's still just kiting away. Stalkers have greater range than Marines and a higher move speed, so you can theoretically never stop trading with them. Um, but one of those Stalkers getting very low, 22 health. Not really what Stardust wants to see. Another Stalker on his way through, and that forces the Marines back. The Marines, though, have bought some more time at the moment for Frost. This game looking a little bit more normal for the time being. Aside from the goal base. Aside from that, it's a very standard-esque play from Stardust. From Frost, things are going a bit more crazy. 
Twilight Council being added into the mix too. Now this Twilight Council could be for a couple of things. Could be for DTs, although this is a very small space, so one missile I would basically cover all of it, and a skin with scan would too. Blink would be quite nice as well. That allows Stardust to utilize his great micro potential to start really working where they Stardust not trying to expand though, that's the important thing to know. He also wants to take out that Marauder if he can. Marauder is the big threat to these stories, especially if concussive shell is researched. But for the moment, Stardust still feeling happy to fight. He's taking out a good number of units. For the moment, Stardust hasn't really lost anything. Just one Stalker going down now. Second Stalker going down. This really isn't what Stardust would have wanted. It's losses like that that's going to make it hard. He needs as many Stalkers as he can. Warps a couple in offensively. Gonna get them grabbed though. So these Stalkers are going to take a good amount of damage. But reinforcements following up with that too. The Twilight Council is now done, but not being used to research Blink or anything as of yet because Stardust dealing some good damage. He's taking some pretty sizable losses in the process, but he's keeping this marine count very low. More Stalkers warping in, still just from those three gateways, for the time being the Mothership Core back at home, ready to photon overcharge if needed. But the main thing that we're seeing from Stardust is he's attempting to keep Frost contained. He doesn't want to let his opponent start really macroing it up. Hardcore stuff. Work count 28 to 27 in Stardust's favor. Concussive Shell is now being researched in order to help deal with these stalkers. Blink on its way down. And this is really the long term plan of Stardust is to utilize his apparent slightly superior micro potential to trade as effectively as he can. Factory has been found. This is problematic. And this is one of the things I was talking about earlier. There's just not much space here. And because there isn't much space, there isn't really anywhere to build a factory in a starport. And therefore, there's no way to get the medevacs. Therefore, Stim isn't too helpful. Because it will just kill your entire army very fast. And really, that means gateway units are still better than, obviously, infantry. Stardust knows that and is utilizing that to his advantage. There's one stalker chipping away that factory, no rush. More stalkers getting warped in. Blink is currently about 60 odd seconds away from completion, so one minute in game. And still, the pressure is being applied. Froz nearly mined down. This is one of the disadvantages of floating to the gold I mentioned right at the start. By coming here, you do mine more faster, but you mine out faster too. Without another base, that's going to cause Froz some problems. Stardust nearly with Blink completed, warping in yet more stalkers. Currently up, 40 to 27 army supply because he's been trading really well. Trading about 1,000 less resources lost by Stardust. Natural command, or another command center getting constructed. Now time warp being utilized. This is a lovely position for Stardust to try and trade. A lot of SCVs getting pulled. And the reason it's such a good position is because Stardust can so easily micro back from this. Keeping his stalks alive. Great blink control. Second time warp being used. Just dragging out this line. So many SCVs now dead. The stalkers trading with this army incredibly well. And this is looking very positive for Stardust. He's got a good concave. His micro shining. And across his army evaporating. An offensive blink forward. GG called in Stardust. Makes it through to the finals of Go for SC2 Monday for a chance to win that 75 euros and also the spot in the monthly Go for SC2 finals.